Hey guys, today I want to show you my winter sangria recipe. So for those of you who don't know, sangria actually originated in Spain and it's traditionally a combination of chopped up fruit, wine, liqueurs, and juices. For my winter sangria, I start with two pears, one or two apples, depending on the size of the apple, and one orange. Now I've already actually got them chopped up here. The second ingredient is going to be two cinnamon sticks. This is really key, guys. This is really what's gonna elevate your sangria and also make it feel and taste more like a winter drink than a summer drink. Next up, you add your liqueurs. So I've chosen Kirsch, which is a cherry brandy, and it's great for sangria because it's fruity. You might be familiar with Kirsch if you've ever made traditional fondue. Secondly, I add whiskey, nothing in particular, just what I happen to have in the house. Then we move to our wine. So you're gonna put the full bottle of wine in here. In here. Um, I recommend going with something fruity and something that is probably on the cheaper end. Um, no need to break the bank on this. Um, but if you have a fruity wine that's your go-to, choose that. Next up, I add two cans of pear cider. And this is spiked pear cider. Um, and if you can't find it in cans, um, I've seen it in bottles before, so I would recommend using about 20 to 22 ounces of pear cider. you add your cranberry juice. Now I chose cranberry juice because I think it's a great winter flavor. Um, I love how it tastes with the pear. And again, it's just gonna make it nice and fruity and that's really what we're going for with our sangria. So once everything is assembled, um, you just cover it up and put it in the fridge overnight or at least for eight hours. And then when you're done, scoop it out with a ladle and cheers guys.